So your reports, um, the area managers that report to you, yes. um, how do you manage them? Do you just chat to them a lot or is it all, you know, at the end of each day there's a P&L statement that arrives on your desk? No, no. Um, so we have different structures for different brand. Um, for Wagyu Shanghai, they report directly to me. Uh, we have some operations managers. Uh, we don't, we're not a company of meetings. Um, this will be something interesting for, for to, to share with your 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 viewers, uh, Terry. Um, John's Danish. He is he has wanted a flat organization from day one, and he, that's something he's really drummed into me from the beginning. And uh, and you know, by 2015, we were just we we're a big company by then. And then, but we 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 didn't want to be a big company. Uh, and in 2016, we, we, I'll get back to your, your actual question, okay, but no, in, 2000, in 2016, we, we, we were told that we needed an ERP system. And I think most people know what, what, that, what that process is like. It's a nightmare, you know, a minimum six-month nightmare. Uh, some, I've heard, you know, two years and ongoing. Now, what we learned through, through, through doing that, I wasn't involved in that process at all, and and um, the way the way we went with that decision was big company thinking. Uh, so I've spent the last half year just tearing things down, mm -hmm. and I don't care what we spent or how long we spent on building that. I simply, after seeing some of my team suffer in the stores, so the super users the people that have to use a system every day, I simply do not expect that just because we're trying to be and act like a big company, you know, I'm sorry, the fact is the people that use this every day are the young duty managers in the store. And if they don't get it, and if they have to take 20 steps to get one thing done to place an order, I'm sorry. That's 20 steps where they're not focusing on a customer's coffee quality. That's 20 steps where they're not looking at their labor schedule and how to you know, find efficiencies in that. So, so, so again, that's a really good example of um, you know, we're, we're a big company, we need big system, big company thinking and all of that, but actually the way we act and how we do things, we really have to stay very close to the ground because that's our business.